Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I have been getting a lot of questions and messages about the new 0.5 MetaHumans. As you all know, the MetaHumans were updated to 0.5 and it broke quite a bit of things. So what I'm gonna do right now is just make an updated video and see if I can run into the issues that you all are running into. And if not, just go ahead and follow along. That being said, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be using the new MetaHuman 0.5 in a scene and we're gonna go ahead and animate that using uh, Relusion Actor Core Motion Capture. Now I am not uh, sponsored by Relusion, but I did win a couple of DA points, which is their money or their cash, by winning a competition that they hosted last year. So here's the website. We're gonna be grabbing a mocap here. So I'm gonna go to motion. And again, they have some free ones here, so you don't have to use the ones that I'm buying. You can just use a free one. If you go click on free right here, it's gonna show you the free ones, okay? But for this one, I'm actually gonna spend some of my DA points. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so we have the scene right here, and I'm gonna make another video about this scene later, but there's a couch there, so we'll just find something that's kinda like sitting. So if I go to like daily life, just find somebody that's sitting, I guess. Oh, this is a car sitting, so that probably won't work. Uh, maybe I can just search right here. Remove this and just put sit. I guess we can use this one. $7 right here. I should have enough for this. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and add to cart. And then we're gonna go to our cart. I actually have two things in there right now. Oh, to stand idle, I can go ahead and delete that. And as you can see right here, it's seven bucks and I'm gonna go ahead and check out. All right, so I do have some DA points. It's a total of 700 DA points. So I have 1675. So yeah, we don't have to pay for this at all today. It's pretty cool. I'm rich DA points wise. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and go to our download inventory. So I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna click motion and it's gonna show up right here. And here's some of the ones that I've bought so far. Click on this and I will download it. Okay, and I'm gonna use the female. Next, we're gonna say Unreal Engine because that's what we're gonna be exporting this to. 60 frames per second is good. And then download. And that's gonna go to my download in my computer. So we'll wait for that. Okay, it's so gonna come in a zip file. So let's go ahead and unzip this. Okay, so I went ahead and copied and pasted that zip here. So let's go ahead and unzip. Then we're gonna have two folders, an actor and a motion. So let's go back to Unreal now. And I'm going to open up the Epic Games Launcher. All right, and then I'm gonna go to the library because I wanna make sure that the plugins installed for Unreal Engine 5 is updated. This is a very, very important step right here. Make sure this is good because this is what's causing a lot of problems over there with Quixel because bridge is broken as well for a lot of y'all. So just make sure that you have the most recent early access to and the plugins right here, okay? So that's good. Okay, so next we're gonna go click on the content browser and Quixel Bridge is gonna open up. Now in Unreal Engine 5, Quixel Bridge is built in to the engine itself. So you don't have to open it in another software. It's here, it's inside. I'm going to go ahead and log in, click on this, sign in, and I'll put my credentials here. Hey, make sure you log in, because if you don't log in, you're not going to see the meta humans you created. You're just going to see the free ones, the 50. So if I go right here, you're going to see my meta humans right here. Okay. And I already pre-downloaded one, which is Lisa Barlow. If you haven't seen that short film I made with this character, go ahead and check it out. I'll put it in the cards up above. It's pretty cool. And then what I'm going to make sure is I change this to highest quality. And then since I already have Unreal 5 open, I'm just going to go ahead and click add. And this is going to add it to my project. There you go. And we should be seeing the MetaHumans folder, which is here. And this is going to compile a bunch of shaders. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this video right now. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on enable missing plugins. And this is going to prompt me to restart. Okay. So depending on your computer, you know, Compiling shaders might have taken you a while, but eventually your project should open back up and compile all the shaders. So here we are finished. I'm gonna press G, it's in uh, golf right here to take off all those icons. And now we're gonna take a look at our meta humans right here, Lisa Barlow. And now we have this blueprint right here. So that's good. And again, I'm gonna drag and drop her in the scene. And this is probably gonna take some time as well to load up. So give me one second here. 
Okay, so after about five business days, I think we're done compiling shaders and we're gonna go ahead and continue with this tutorial. So I'll move her in here. I'll turn off the snap right here so I can freely move her around. And I'm just moving with the WASD here, okay? Rotator, so she's kind of facing the correct way. So here is our character, Lisa Barlow, in our scene right now. And let me go ahead and force that LOD to be one so her hair is not kind of disappearing there. So should be good. All right, awesome. Now her lighting is not correct right now because this scene uh, is baked. So I'll show you that real quick. And again, I'm going to talk about this scene a little bit more later because we're going to explore this with my Vive. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my content and I'm going to right click a new folder and we'll name that right there mocap. I'm going to go back to that folder where we downloaded our motion from actor core. We're going to go to actor first I'm going to double click the mocap and dummy female. I'm going to click and drag and drop that motion dummy female right here. I'm going to check skeletal mesh. I'm going to go ahead and troll this down and we're going to use T0 as reference pose. Okay, click import. Okay, so this is gonna compile shaders, but it's pretty small, so we don't have to worry about it taking too long. And while that's compiling shaders, I am going to click on our character and look at that BP right here for the body. And let's go to our skeletal mesh right here. And I'm gonna double click this, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna make this bigger so you can kind of see it. Now, this is the first thing that people are kind of freaking out right now because the preview mesh is messed up. Um, as you can see right here, it is just not there, but don't freak out because the skeleton is there still. If we go to all hierarchy, it's very much still there, so don't worry about it too much. It's still going to work out. I'll disable this now, and I'm going to click on the top right. I'm going to click on the skeleton right here, and then I'm going to switch to animation notified because the anim curves is pretty buggy and laggy, so we should be good right here. Change the camera to one. So we can kind of move in there a little bit smoother. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and go to our options, retargeting options, and we're gonna change everything but pelvis and root into skeleton. Shift, click, and then targeting skeleton is good. And then I'm going to save that. And then after that, I'm going to my retarget manager right here, and we're gonna change this to humanoid, okay? Pretty cool. So now we have this and it looks like she is in an A post. Now sometimes whenever you're having problems with the fingers with the meta humans, I mean even last year when I first started messing around with it, click on the view post. You see that? Right off the bat, whenever you download meta humans sometimes, the post is jacked up. I mean look at this. Hide post, view post. That is messed up. If I was to retarget this right now, it's gonna look like a hot piece of garbage. All right, so to fix this, I'm going to use an anim asset or post asset that it comes with the custom meta humans. Now, unfortunately, if you're using one of the presets, the 50 presets, this file is not going to be included. So that's why I'm using my custom meta human. I'm going to modify posts. I'm going to click on this none, type in Rita, and then click on this, import. And now that changes the post to an A open hand post right here. So modify, use current post. So now if I click on hide, view post, that is now fixed. So let's save that. So that is good. And I'm going to minimize this right here. And we're going to go back to our content folder. Because what we're going to do now is actually fix our mocaps skeleton so that they match with our meta human. So I'm going to go to my mocap and I'm going to double click the skeletal mesh. Skeletal mesh is fine. Again, it's in an A post. That's what we want. And that's why we selected Unreal Engine in Actual Core. So it's going to be here. Uh, it's pretty easy to work with right off the bat. So I'm going to click on Skeleton, similarly to what we did. I'm going to click on Retargeting Options and everything but the Pelvis and Root. Scroll down, Shift, right click, Retargeting Skeleton, and then that's good. I'm going to save right here. We're going to go back to our Retarget Manager. Similarly, we're going to go ahead and select humanoid so it matches our meta human. Now let's take a look at the pose for this skeleton. It's good. It's in an A pose and that is what we want. Perfect. Save. Okay, so in the next step we're going to do is go back to that folder because now we're going to actually import that motion that we downloaded as well. So if I go right here, click on motion and there's a sit bench. I'm going to drag and drop that to my project and this is going to open up again. And the skeleton, this is going to automatically find the skeleton that we imported from the mesh. 
which is pretty cool. And let's make sure we have everything here. Animation length, exported time is okay. I'm gonna change the default sample rate and just kind of just put 60 on here. Let's make sure we got everything in here kind of set up. And this is the motion dummy female skeleton right here that we already set up, so that should be good. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click import. Okay, so now that we have this animation in here, now we can retarget this animation towards our meta human, okay? The next step is I'm gonna go ahead and just drag and drop the skeleton here real quick and then delete that. And then I'm gonna right click the animation sequence, retarget anim asset duplicate. And since both of our characters are in the same exact pose and are both in the humanoid setting, I'm gonna be able to retarget this animation to our meta human. So I'm gonna click this right here. You're not gonna see it over here, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click retarget. All right, and then what I'm going to do now is create a new sequence. So I'm gonna cinematics, add level sequence. I'll name it whatever's okay. And I'm gonna dock it here. And then I'm going to add our meta human in here. I'm going to change the FPS right here to 24. I'm going to delete the body rig. Click on the body, track animation. And then we're going to look for that sitting animation. I'm going to press control on my keyboard and zoom out with my mouse. I'm going to adjust this red mark so that it plays the entire animation. And just like that, <laughs> it's an awkward pose. We now have this animation on our meta human. Pretty cool. And as you can see, no messed up fingers or anything like that. Obviously, some penetration are happening, like the hand in the face like that. But that's okay. You can fix that. But now we have this animation on the meta human. Look at the hair. That's so pretty. And again, this scene is pretty much so baked. Um, we're going to convert this to Lumen in the next short. So I'm going to click on her real quick and see if I can press W right here. I'm just scoot it over some. And if that happens to you, just go back to the sequencer and move it again. That is just a bug. An annoying one. Really annoying one. Go ahead right here. Just make sure that her butt is actually touching the couch there. Okay, and then go back. I wish they would fix that. That would be cool. Pretty awesome. Okay, now obviously lighting's not good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you all, and as, and as you all saw, I didn't run into any of the problems that you all are messaging me about. If you follow this tutorial step by step, you are not going to be running into any problems whatsoever because I just showed you some of the common errors that you're going to run into whenever you're animating the meta human. So with that being said, if you all have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you all later.